2008 at the Lehman Brothers crisis. So I started in September 2007, and I did my first deal in March of 2009. Now, it was awesome for me, because that's when I developed all my theses, because I saw so many companies. I started to realize, where did I get good sources of deals, and where did the deals that were shot to me not end up panning out? A lot of the ideas that I worried about, too high of prices, raising too much money, going too quickly, and I was skeptical about them, and then a year later, some of them were out of business, or you could tell we're struggling to raise capital. So I would just say, if you're a new VC, take your time. Don't be in a rush. Don't try to get notches on your belt. Most deals don't end up working that well how you want them to, even for great VCs, and they're all going to suck up your time. And really make sure you're doing something you're passionate about. I'll take one last one, because why not? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Is there anything you would like to talk about? No, I want to take one more question. So Does anyone else have a question? Put the onus on you. Um, let's see. One thing I've noticed is just scrolling through the questions is as you scroll, it jumps back to the bottom. I know. I saw it. They've like, got to fix that because I was yeah. looking at another discussion group and you scroll and then all of a sudden it disappears and you want to go back further and you can't really. Yeah. Um, if anyone asks, if anyone wants to ask, now's the time. Right, whatever, the exactly. new, whatever the newest <laughs> question that comes in is the one that I will answer. All right. Let's see. Um, newest question. Uh, so people... Uh, people here know that you're very um, geography, like based on geography investing. You're you're long on LA hashtag long LA uh, from Greg Bettinelli. Um, what do you think about investing outside of uh, the U.S.? So, um, I, I I don't want to say I'm really <coughs> geography based. I want to give advice to people who don't live in a tier one city. Let me call tier one. I'm not trying to offend anyone because I'll leave some stuff out. Let's say the biggest venture cities but in, in the U.S., and I will address international, Boston, New York, Silicon Valley, San Francisco, and L.A. as part of the biggest venture markets in the country. And then, of course, there's Seattle, and there's Portland, and there's Boulder, and there's Austin. I mean, there's a lot of great cities, but those four are probably the ones that get the most capital. What I would say, let's say that you're in uh, Des Moines. The problem with Des Moines and I know you want to change this, but you're not going to, is that anyone who is a VC is already traveling a lot. So their desire to go to Des Moines, if you just think about me, I have two kids. I travel all the time. I'm usually in San Francisco, New York, sometimes London, sometimes Philly, sometimes San Diego. Um, but if I do a deal in Des Moines and I have to go six or eight times a year, that's a really big ask on me. Um, and, you know, if it's a late stage deal and I'm super excited about it, I have no problem going to Des Moines. I have no problem at all. But it's a much higher bar. And there's a way for you to solve that problem. And I'm going to give you two examples. Number one, if you go to San Francisco or New York or L.A., you simply say, and this is for early stages, and it shouldn't have to be, but I'm just trying to help you figure out how to raise money more easily. Go to those markets and say, look. I need to be in San Francisco, New York, LA, Boston, whatever. I need to be in your hometown already for business. I'm willing to come five times a year for board meetings. You don't have to travel to me. I want you to come once. 